good morning. It is a great day for a day in Tortola. This is our first stop uh, on our cruise on the Valiant Lady. And you can see absolutely how absolutely gorgeous it is out here. This is just... The water is so pretty. Luckily, Melanie got up early and uh, um, came out here and got some, uh, some footage of the sunrise. Um, I stayed in bed, of course. It was course. so beautiful, just sitting out here in the hammock, doing my work, watching the sunrise as we pulled into port. It was beautiful. So uh, we got a, a full day ahead, it sounds like. What do we have going on? So we are actually taking a ship excursion because um, on Sunday, the ferries to Virgin Gorda do not run um, outside of the cruise ship excursions, um, at least that I could find. Uh, so we are doing the sh cruise ship excursion to the Bass um, in Virgin Gorda. And um, yeah, it's something new that we've never done. I know it's kind of a common thing. Oh, but the, all these stops on this uh, yeah, all are, all, be new are all new to us. So. Yeah, so um, ex we're kind of, I'm kind of nervous um, because I don't, um, I come with a lot of stuff. We, we come with a lot of gear. <laughs> So I'm hoping that we uh, do okay carrying it all around through the baths. So anyway, we are um, headed to the galley to get some breakfast. Um, and then we'll be meeting up on deck seven with for the shore excursion. All right, let's do it. So we just got off the boat here, going over to the uh, to the baths, and uh, where what? We're at Leverick Bay. Leverick Bay, that's mm -hmm. the name of it. Yes. So it was kind of pretty cool. Uh, uh, we passed by on the way Richard Branson's house. Several um, of them. So several of them, but uh, the main one. But but yeah, uh, we'll we'll throw okay. those in here. It was pretty pretty neat uh, going past there. Melanie just out of nowhere, so like I think that's Richard Branson's house, and she looked it up on. Uh, online and sure enough it was and then as we were getting here they they uh, told us that the one previous was and that the others on either side of us were his as well and one of his islands so pretty cool I think this is the life, is it not? This is the life. So the, uh, the boat ride over here was about 45 minutes to an hour. And we are here at, what we said, it's Leverick Bay? Yes. Leverick Bay. There's Melanie. Um, and we're going to be here about an hour and a half. They said uh, that basically it was going to be light uh, snacks and, and drinks. Looks like they got a whole spread over there. Um, so now, cocktails. Yeah, cocktails, fun. whole spread of and then, uh, food. Like buffet. Yeah, like a, like a nice. Too bad we're full from breakfast. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of wish I hadn't eaten that. Uh, what was it? The French toast burger. Do you really wish you hadn't? Yeah, I actually do. It was good. You do? It was good, but I, I you know, I, I wish, I, I'll put it this way. I wish I had had half of it. It definitely said light refreshments and beverages. So let me turn this around and show you what we got going. Hi. 
said there was a little market here somewhere. This is a hotel. I assume the market might be right there with the open sign. Right there. over there. Okay. I kind of love this place. This Look at really that neat. place up there. Like, whoa. I want to move to an island like this and just have no worries. I can run my business from here. Well, you know, if Richard Branson can do it, we can. Exactly. But we need your help, guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. <laughs> Alright, so it's just showing you this cool market here right up the hill. So if you don't want just like the free drinks, you want you need to get some water, energy drinks, you want some island beer. I'm leave it open. You can leave it. No, you don't need to open that one. Okay, well. It's just you can see through that. That was just Yeah, and then they have Celsius over here in McCoy area. So then when we're when, when we're traveling, when we're traveling, I like to try you know different things that I've you know things that I've never heard of or whatnot. Now this one I'm gonna I'm gonna get. I actually I, I'm familiar with it as far as I've seen it before. I've heard of it. I just don't think I've ever had it. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't remember anything about it. I know Vita Malt. It's a non-alcoholic malt beverage. So we have some pastries. And I'll give it a shot. All right. So like I said. Whenever I go anywhere, I like to try stuff that I've not had before. And again, what I was figuring, I haven't tasted it yet, but what I was figuring it was, based off of the description, non-alcoholic malt beverage, is it's a non-alcoholic beer, or would taste like, uh, like one. And that's exactly what it smells like. So, a very, very sweet version if you will um but i should have checked the let's see good morning yeah i, I should have checked the the amount of sugar in it but, but yeah it's it i mean it, it, it's good don't think i'll drink the whole thing with that much sugar but anyway so like we were saying they talked about a uh you know light snacks and uh, drinks. You can see this spread here. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me get some coleslaw. I try a little. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna try a little bit of most of it. All right. A little bit of that. Well, I'm just going to... Yes, please. Let me, let me make a little room. All right. Thank you. Roll that beautiful bean footage. It says macaroni pie. Yeah, skip the veggies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip the veggies, unfortunately. It does. That looks phenomenal. All right, thank you. Barbecue chicken, pork ribs, and fish. Let's do ribs. All right. And you want a piece of chicken on there. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, all right. So we just had a little bit to eat. I, I really am still full from, from breakfast. I mean, it was only an hour and a half ago, maybe. Um, but yeah, overall, this is actually really good. I mean, you know, for the fact that it's, in, you know, it's included in, in the fee for the, um, the excursion and everything. Um, pretty darn good and an unofficial unofficial mac and cheese files 
they have this listed up there as macaroni salad, but it's mac no, and macaroni cheese. pie. Macaroni pie, excuse me, not salad, macaroni pie. It's mac and cheese. And it's very good. But it's very good. It is not, and again, it's unofficial uh, mac and cheese files because it's not on a ship. You know, it's, it's cruise ship mac and cheese in general. Those are the ones that count. I'll give you my opinion on everything. But when it comes to mac and cheese, I'll give you my opinion uh, about wherever we have it. But this is not an official cruise ship mac and cheese file, but it's very good. So with that last bite, what, <clears throat> what are we going to do for the next, what, hour-ish? Probably still have another hour. Um, we should be leaving here soon. Okay. And then I think we go on, by bus, a little island tour or over to the bath. Um, I think it is a tour and then a hike and then... You have to hike up to the bath, essentially. So, yeah, my, uh, let's see how my... Well, uh, when they say hike, though, but it's in... My it's hey dude water. shoes. I, I don't know how well these are going to... These are going to... Gonna... You're going to be fine. <laughs> but, no, I'll make it. I'll make it. <clears throat> So it said closed toed shoes, like tennis shoes, required. Sturdy, to sturdy. closed toed. And, and I'm wearing sturdy. open toed sandals, and nobody said anything to me. Well, you but may not be allowed to go. It'll be fine. I have my water shoes too. I'll have to take a bath by myself. I have water shoes as well. Um, there are facilities here for you to use, although I think when we go the next place, there won't be. Yeah, he did. So they he did, did tell us that uh, on as we were leaving the uh, port that that. At one point, they, they, we will have no facilities. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll have to verify. I think that's the next place. So, yeah, because we'll be at the bass. Um, so, there are a couple shops here that you can... Excuse kind me. Kind of high-end resort wear type stuff. There's a little bar, cash bar, um, that apparently serves some good rum punch, from what the people say. And what I'm hearing, there's a little pool. I guess you could get in it. This is actually a hotel, the Limerick Bay Hotel. Um, and is it Limerick? Leverick. 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 I'm sorry, Lim Leverick. Leverick. Um, cute little island area, really. It is. Um, I would totally, could totally see like hanging out here for a few days. But we just have a few hours. I think for the excursion. I mean, I get it. You have they come here and. I'm sure, like it's hand in hand with this resort and everything in the stores and they want to get their tourism dollars. So, right. um, you know, and certainly that's a good hand, a uh, good trade off for being able to go to somewhere like the Bass so, yeah. and see something like that. It's a little long of a stay here yeah, it's for a, me, yeah. but that's because like if, I guess if we had been hungry or wanted to drink. But it's early in the morning <laughs> for us. So. But the excursion did say light beverages and refreshments, and I would not classify this as light at all. I think all. we've said that five times. Sorry. What? So, guys, we hope you're enjoying our videos uh, from uh, Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady. We hope you've enjoyed all of our videos and would appreciate a like subscribe maybe share uh, our videos with or our channel with any of your friends that enjoy travel we appreciate it much all right now we're jumping on a bus or it looks like a truck <laughs> okay safari truck Okay, so we're up here at the, uh, I think you said at the top of the, uh, the baths, which is, uh, uh, we're gonna end up hiking down and uh, around for a little bit uh, before we actually get to the baths. But, uh, and they'll tell you this uh, repeatedly, but just a note that um, there are no facilities beyond this point. So, at, you know, make sure you use the facilities here, you need to go to the bathroom, things of that nature. Get it taken care of before you head, uh, head on 
uh, down the, uh, the path. But that's what we're doing and get a move on. So we're just getting started on this and uh, Melanie saw on uh, the Facebook group that apparently Richard Branson is on board. So that's kind of neat. Kind of stuck, sucks that we're not that not on board for that, but you know, yeah, maybe, maybe, we'll see. All right, well, we got down here to uh, the beach right here at the baths, which I believe technically the baths are right over there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little off kilter there. Uh, so we are heading over there. So what do we think of the uh, excursion? I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was neat. It was something different that we felt a little more active than we normally are. Well, um, I was worried how we would do with the rock climbing and navigating all that, but I thought it was fine. I mean, a little well, bit. Climbing over, climbing over rocks, not rock climbing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Climbing over rocks, yeah. navigating that. I mean, it was fine. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. Aren't yeah, you? I had too. Beautiful I had views, too. beautiful water. I had fun. Yeah, it was really neat. I did it's do. Definitely a do it once at least thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, if you're coming to Tortola, it's, you want to do it. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's definitely worth it. The uh, the tour, uh, the tour people were great. Yeah. So. I'm happy with it overall. I mean, it's still, it is a little bit of a foul call. Yeah. Um, but what I don't know, but done well, I would still say. Um, and I would say that given that there wasn't really an option for our, our date, I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. We had a, I had a good time. And I think the price we paid for it, which was like $100 per person, is, is considering the drinks and uh, um, or like the food that was included because they said it was light refreshment and back here it was not, it was like full meal. Yes. Um, I wish I'd maybe known that, but I mean, I think the price was fair for what it is and it's six hours, it's a six hour tour. But I think that the sites that you see, I was a little worried that the transportation would be a little bit much, but the sites are beautiful. So definitely, uh, definitely two thumbs up. All right, so we are going to try to get back on the boat here, uh, apparently, Richard Branson is still on the boat, or at least he was uh, about an hour ago. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. You know, maybe we can get him. I don't him. know why, but um, you know, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Just I don't know, meeting meeting a famous person. Maybe maybe uh, you know he'll he'll share a vlog or something. I mean, anyway. I don't know. Wish us luck. Well, unfortunately, we missed out. Uh, we got on board. Of course, first thing I asked uh, the uh, security guys we were getting back and getting on board was, uh, 
if uh, Mr. Branson was still on board. Unfortunately, no. He left a, He left about an hour, hour and a half ago. So we missed out on our big opportunity, I guess. All right, y'all. Brent is in taking a shower, getting ready for dinner. We are sailing past the British Virgin Islands here. Um, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I don't think the video does it justice. I came out here earlier and actually took a little bit of a nap in my... I'm not fully made up. My eyes are not done yet. I had to run out here because I heard the boat was... They were like blasting the horn. So I wanted to see what was going on, but I don't know, we're just sailing by and um, it's all right, like I haven't blended yet. Um, but it's so beautiful out here. I don't think the camera really does it justice. As this one is setting behind these mountains. Um, and we're headed to Guadalupe. Is it Guadalupe or Guadalupe? I'm not sure. I got a little sunburn on my nose today. Had a great time doing the excursion. We got a little snack when we got back on board, but we have dinner at Russell Dazzle in just a few minutes. Hopefully Brent gets his fun gear. It is fancy night, so we'll see. Anyway, I gotta go finish getting ready, curl my hair and stuff. All right, so we got a uh, little bit of a rest. Uh, I took, uh, I think we both took a bit of a nap. Melanie uh, went out on the uh, balcony and actually rested out there. And um, so now we are headed to dinner at Razzle Dazzle. Um, that is the one of the restaurants that we missed last time. So we're definitely sure to get it put on uh, for this one. But uh, with that is what we have going on. And then it's just a, kind of an open night, I think. We have talking about doing some. Uh, what some trivia karaoke. trivia and karaoke we'll see if i actually make it to karaoke this time i'm sure there's more on this seven day sailing than, than the one they had the last time um so we will see but that is where we are headed right now to razzle dazzle for dinner all right so melanie was talking about i asked her on the way uh, on the way in here and a little bit about the restaurant what the story was with razzle dazzle because you know all these restaurants uh have a story of some sort of you know what they're idea and concept behind them are and she was talking about um what it was so i just wanted her to comment real quickly about it so really i think they intended this to be a purely vegetarian restaurant from the get-go but what they realized is that some people are vegetarian but their dining partners may not be um or vegan so they have stuff they have a vegetarian forward menu it's about half vegetarian and then half carnivore so there's really something for everyone but i've heard the food's really good we also have brunch here because i've heard the brunch is very good so we will be trying this as well and the cuisine is uh is uh, american american yes and modern american modern american and i will all at with i will have the uh the menus uh, that I took video of uh, up here as well. And the meat items are in red and the vegetarian and vegan items are listed in black. All right, so this looks delicious. It is the green avocado green goddess salad. Um, it, it is wrapped in like cucumber. There's carrots. It looks delicious. Yeah, and he's got the chicken wings, which also look good. That dip. So we'll taste it, see how it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna really quick while we're uh, while we're eating, go ahead and kind of give my my opinion on on things as we go. So as far as the starter here, these um, Old Bay chicken wings, to be honest with you, very little flavor to them. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in it, just just because of the quality of food overall on Virgin. Um, but um, but you know, I don't know. You know me. I like I like spicy. I like a lot of flavor, and for me, they were just a little bit uh, a little bit bland. Melanie's trying them now. I think you're great too. Yeah. So you 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 like them better than I do. Yeah. See, I just I find them kind of I find them bland. You like you like 
if it does not burn the roof of your mouth, like if it does not burn your mouth, like if it's not extreme fire, it's not sneezing it out. All right. So I think they're good. Okay, so I have a huge piece of lamb here, lamb shank, with some roasted vegetable. You got the pastrami ribs, that's what it was called. And this was the secret burger. We had to order it just to see. It's a burger, two patties with blue cheese and a pickled sauce, I believe she called it. But it looks delicious. I'm going to try a bite. Well, and just for it the record, looks really yeah, good. just for the record, I'm I'm, I'm going to have about a bite of each of these. <laughs> I can't. Well, I'm starving, so. Well, I worked up an appetite have, today. You'll have plenty of food. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. Um, and first of all, I wish that I was hungrier, um, but I will just say, <clears throat> as I've said. 5,000 times, Virgin Voyages just keeps taking taking the food experience on cruise ships up a notch. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, impressed with those chicken wings to begin with, but I have to say everything else has been phenomenal. Um, this was the uh, pastrami Reds. and perfectly cooked, um, smoky, so good. This mustard sauce is phenomenal. Um, Melanie, you got the lamb, um, and it was again per perfectly cooked, fall apart, tender, great flavor. The sauce, the vegetables. I just can't eat this much yeah, or whatever because we were we ate a lot, but um, it was just a lot, a big piece. Um, but very, very good, but very good. Highly I have recommend. To say, this burger was phenomenal. So this was, she called it, the, it was not on the menu, it was the secret burger. And it was a blue cheese with some sort of, she called it like Piccadilly sauce or something like a Piccadilly sauce. I don't know. Have to, we'll have to ask. I'm not never sure. Got there was like, like, there's a carrot here and there was a piece of cauliflower too. But there's blue cheese. This green is the blue cheese. And it is really, it is really, really, really pungent. pungent. So you need to like blue cheese. Yeah, you have to enjoy blue cheese. Um, uh, you can see we ate like 98% of the burger. Yeah. Trying not to eat all carbs, you know, the bread, fill up on that so we can eat that. Um, and their fries because they have delicious fries. Yeah, the fries are awesome. Always. Um, but yeah, this was really, really good. Again, so very pungent. You can just kind of see. Yeah. I mean, I know it kind of looks like got mold on the bread there, yeah, but looks, it doesn't look appetizing. I mean, which I guess so it's blue good. cheese, right? But like, you know, right. just to reiterate, really that right. blue cheese is very, very pungent. As I said to Melanie, it borders on like it's so pungent that it's almost disgusting. But it's it's like eating a very rich dessert that is that is really rich, really good, but almost too sweet Thank that you. it's. Uh, that it could be, yeah, it could be disgusting, but it's not. It border, it, it's just it's so good, so good. But again, you have to like um, blue cheese for sure. And it was kind of a greasy burger. But, yes, but it was good. It but was good. Uh, but again, the whole thing, like all of it, was so good. Once again, Virgin Voyages with their food. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, so we are fresh out of Razzle Dazzle once again. A another phenomenal dining experience on Virgin. Um, I, I, I know I'm beating it to death, but Virgin Voyages with their food up has up the game. Just phenomenal. It was so good. And so good. I'm sure their vegetarian dishes are good too, <laughs> but we're carnivores. So omnivores, we ate all uh, omnivores, whatever. We, we ate all meats. Yes. So, and it was good. Yes. We'll probably Very have good. the meat slips later. Very good. So now we are, uh, I think you said you got a couple of things you got to take care of at uh, guest services, and then we're going to. Yeah. Try to head over for some, some uh, what did you say, some trivia? Uh, yeah, music trivia if we can. So somehow, once again, <laughs> we ended up getting, uh, getting our a. times confused and did not end up getting to music trivia until the last round of it. So we are not doing that. Now we're lost trying to find our room. <laughs> we need to, you know what they, they need to do? They need to come up with a way that like you put you have like a gps thing 
in your room. You know, I guess you could do that. You could get like a, what are those, the, the Apple, what do you call them? Oh, you know, the little things that you can put in your luggage so you can track your luggage. You could just use that, and put it in your, leave it in your room. And we are heading down now to Salty Trivia. Hopefully we'll get there. We got four minutes. Uh, in time and I won't get salty um, myself. But as we're walking there, I do want to comment about something. Uh, Melanie has talked before about the difference in where you stay on the ship, uh, where your, your uh, room is, uh, forward, aft, or center in regards to feeling the, um, the um, waves, the uh, motion of the ocean, as it were. And I just have to say, we are now forward. Well, she always makes sure that we're more, more midship. And yeah, I'm feeling it and it ain't feeling good. Um, so yeah, take it from, uh, from uh, yeah. Miss Desirella. Yeah, if you can, you know, they, they, I believe they cost more, don't they? In, in mid, typically? Mid costs a little bit more, yeah, usually. I'm trying to turn this around. So usually mid does, ship does cost a little bit more and for, then forward and then aft is usually cheaper, but oh, I prefer cool. aft over forward. And through a weird set of circumstances, we ended up there. Okay, so not really sure what this uh, salty trivia is. So looking it up on the, uh, on the app here, and the description is, the cast compiles the best of pop culture history, current events and beyond in a uniquely multi-round trivia event created for your voyage. Each team will have a booklet to fill out for each round of 10 questions, but this isn't your average trivia game. This salty trivia expands beyond generations, giving you the freshest, funniest brain twisters you can find in the open ocean or anywhere else for that matter. Not real sure exactly what it is, but we're going to give this a shot. So another decidedly uh, successfully unsuccessful um, bit of trivia there. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, I, I don't know why they call it salty trivia. Uh, I kind of expected it would be, you know, something, you know, a little, a little risque or whatever, but no, I don't know why they call salty. it salty. I don't know. So I don't know. I think because you leave there a little salty. Oh. Because they were know, throwing because, salt around? Because those are, general trivia questions oh, no. were tough. They weren't that tough. It was tough. There were some. There was, you, you did well. You I, did well. Well, on, I mean, I helped. Round two. Too. Round two several. was all me. Yeah, because I don't know superheroes. Right, superhero origin stories. I did Is well. Is this on that. like the Super Bowl or something? No, it's not Super Bowl. Oh. It's playoffs. So. Okay. So, being that we're not filming that and she's talking about it, let me turn this around so you can see. Like, uh, well, large people group are just here cheering. Watching, uh, watching football watching the uh, playoffs so anyway so i think we're going down to what is it drag drag around the world with the diva but what so what is it it's drag show it's a drag show oh i thought there was something else to it i mean there's a premise to it okay that's what i was trying to figure out anyway it's a drag show we'll see you Welcome to Around the World with the Diva. My name's Carlos. I'm your diva here aboard the Valiant Lady. Everybody say hi, Carlos. Hi. New York, City Chiefs. The New York Dolphins, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and who's this sitting next to you? Is this your lovely wife? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Oh, well, sure. All right. Hi, honey. What's your name? Jess. Everybody say hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. Now, darling, do you have your passport on you? No. No? Oh, wonderful. TSA, take her away, please. <laughs> Okay, I think I see one more person right over here. There she is. Hi, friend. Hey. What's your name? Marilyn. Everyone say hi, Marilyn. Hi. Very matter of fact, aren't we, Marilyn? That's right. That's right. Now, Marilyn, I have an important question to ask you. Are you afraid to fly? Uh, I could be. I could be. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what about now? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yes, thank you so much. That is a great screen. Nice big round of applause for them.
Okay, so I just saw my first cruise ship drag show. I don't know if you actually call it a drag show. Well, I it guess was it kind of was, was. It was a drag queen, and it was a show featuring a drag queen. It was. Fun. It was a drag show. No, I mean, I mean, not in the in the term in the sense of you know a typical drag show, but you know what I'm saying. That was a lot of fun. And copyright. No, nah, but no. Nah, see, I'd say... Uh, we talk over it. We it's not the original. We never. We never. Talk over it. In other words, sing it real badly. Mm -hmm. That's how that works? I sing badly. That's how that works? Okay. <laughs> He's right. so handsome in his jacket. I love it. So we're going to go down here and thank you. I haven't been drinking at all. I know. No, I she like hasn't. It. We haven't had a drop. Um, we're going to go down here and check out karaoke. I don't know that I'm going to sing, probably because I haven't been drinking. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. But there's uh, the wee fancy party too, so we may hit that at some point. We fancy, like just a little bit fancy. Yeah, we, I don't know if we. we're gonna make it. We got all fancied up, so right. we got gussied up. Something like that. <coughs> Sweet Caroline.